the Pantry Kitchen. I'm Catherine. If you're new here, I make baking videos every week, different culinary and different dessert recipes. Uh, today we're doing a really fun one. Uh, it might be kind of like a trial and error. I've never made these before, but um, I had a uh, interest and uh, my boyfriend Mike has never had a toaster strudel. So we grew up on them. I don't have them anymore and I don't know what they taste like. It's probably been like 15 years since I've had one, uh, but I want to give it a go and see if we can make these gourmet, see if we can make them a little bit uh, better, better for you. Um, so we're doing a Pillsbury toaster strudel um, homemade. So we'll see. I want to start. Um, these are a strawberry flavor with cream cheese style filling. So I don't know if um, these are the only kind of strawberry ones that I could find at the store. Um, I know when I was younger, we just had like the plain filled strawberries, but these I thought was a little bit fun because it was strawberry and cream cheese and who doesn't love that combination. The, um, they are delicious, but they are definitely not what we can do uh, homemade. So we're gonna we're gonna make one of these. But what I'm gonna do, you can make your own puff pastry. It takes a lot of time and it's a lot of labor um, to go into it. So I'm gonna use the tender flake puff pastry. Uh, so very simple ingredients. So this is something that I definitely would prefer to use, and it's gonna give you that same flaky exterior. Now we're just gonna go with a fresh option. We're not gonna kind of. Um, play around with freezing and toasting. Um, you can if you'd like, but we're just gonna go ahead and make them fresh because then they'll be super delicious. So these are very iconic. I remember these, these are really fun. So I got some icing already pre-made. It's just um, icing sugar, heavy cream, and some vanilla. Um, it's very simple, you don't need anything fancy. So that's what basically this is to go on top. And then these are the toaster strudels. So you get six in a pack, and I think it was like two bucks or 197. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop one in the toaster. We'll give it a taste test, put some icing, but then we'll get started on our home one. So in the meantime, while those are toasting, I'm gonna go over what I think uh, we're going to use, um, not necessarily the amounts. I will leave all of the amounts that I use in the description bar below. But what I have here is some fresh strawberries that I washed and cut, one packet of cream cheese that I've just softened, so it's really easy to cream together. We're just gonna add some vanilla and just a little bit of sugar. We're gonna have, we're gonna make kind of like a strawberry jam to go inside. And then we're gonna do the cream cheese inside as well. I don't wanna just go straight cream cheese because I think it'll be too tangy, like they'll be too off. So it needs just a little bit of sweetness, but that tang will be really nice with the strawberries. I've got some, I've got one orange. I'm gonna use the zest of that and some juice into the jam. I think that will be nice. Um, and then, like I said, my uh, homemade glaze. So um, while we're here, I'm just going to this is called macerate. So this just means that you're gonna help the juices come out of the strawberries. You just put a little bit of sugar, let them sit, and then that will, that's called um, macerating or maceration um, of your berries. Any fruit you do this to, um, it will do the same thing and it'll help release the juices. So I'm gonna do that. Put some zest on there. Oops, wrong way. Do some orange zest. I think this will be really nice and a bright flavor in the center of the toaster strudel. Hmm, the zest of one orange. And then we're going to let this sit before we cook it on the stove. We want it to kind of, we want to break it down into a bit of a jam because it'll be easier. We want everything to kind of be cooked before it goes in because our main uh, purpose of the baking is to bake the puff pastry, not necessarily bake the filling. Whoop. So I heard my toaster go, so let's check on those. Strudels be popping. Strudels be popping. In the cream cheese, I'm gonna just do a little bit of sugar, maybe a teaspoon. Like I said, I don't want this to be overly sweet because we're gonna have the sweet jam and we're gonna put a glaze on it. So all in all, I just want it to be a really beautiful flaky pastry. I don't want it to be super sweet. Um, and I have a feeling that the one that we're gonna taste is gonna be pretty sweet. Um, unlike I remember, it was oh so delicious when I was like six. <laughs> and a splash of vanilla extract. I'll just mix that together. So this I'm thinking we're gonna pipe down the center. That's kind of how it looks in the photo on the box. So set that aside. All right, I think 
Oh, I'm so excited. These were literally like our childhood, all the flavors. Leave me a comment down below. If you've had them, what was your favorite flavor? I don't think we liked any other flavor, but the strawberry kind, I cannot remember. Um, but here we go. So we've got our toaster strudels here. So it's, it smells so good. So I'm just gonna drizzle on the icing like they have it. Now I remember I make faces and look at you can't even get it out of there. All right, let's see, let's cut one open. Okay, so that was very anticlimactic. There is not much oozing out and I kind of, when I want a pastry, like I want it to ooze out, there's hardly any strawberry in there. This side looks a little bit better. So let's try this side. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, just like I remember. <laughs> They're so good, but like, we're gonna make them even better. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Long travel. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'll just take the other half. No. Very cool. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm hmm. See, it's definitely flaky to me, but I don't really get a lot of strawberry. You know, like I want I it by. I get more cream cheese. Yeah, more cream cheese. And don't get me wrong, I want that. But I really like the fruity. Um, what are we making? A strudel. That's what we're making. So I want more strawberry. So, although it was good and it's flaky, we're going to make it even better. So, uh, we're going to start making our jam. So, we'll just in a little sauce pot here. <clears throat> I'm going to put all my strawberries. This will probably be on the stove for like five to 10 minutes. They'll kind of, if you put a lid on it, they'll break down pretty fast. And then we can get going on that. I'm going to do a little orange juice just to amp up that. And I'm not looking for these. The citrus is just going to add a nice balance to the strawberries itself. Let's do a little bit more. And the fruit doesn't need much. If you if you taste your fruit beforehand and it's already pretty sweet, then you don't need to add a lot of sugar because the fruit already has those natural sugars. So I'm gonna pop this on the stove with a lid and I'm gonna let it cook down. I'll show you what it's like when it's all done and halfway, okay? <laughs> so these are starting to break down, which is really what we're looking for. But you can see all of that juice. So what I'm gonna do is make a cornstarch slurry. So I'm gonna put about a, a heaping spoonful, like a big spoonful in a cup, and I'm gonna put cold, cold water. Um, and then I'm just gonna mix it together. And it's gonna look like milk, honestly, is what it's gonna look like. And then because this is at a boil, I'm gonna pour it in, it's gonna help thicken those juices, and then um, keep it on a boil to let that kind of starch cook in. And then it will help thicken the sauce so that um, it's more of like a jam consistency. Now what I'm going to do is bring my um, jam here back up to a boil and I'm going to pour this in. And you'll see as it boils away, it's going to thicken. Already you can see it happening. And this smells so good. I wish you could smell it. See, already look at that. That's exactly what we want. because we want it to be able to hold. You can see, we want it to be able to hold in the pastry. I'm just gonna put it down on low now, keep stirring. Because we don't want it to, as we're assembling, we don't want it to be like really messy or not be able to hold. So what I'm going to do is transfer this back to a bowl, just pop it in the fridge just to cool down just slightly so I can handle it into the pastry. And then there you go. And I love those still bigger chunks of strawberry because that's gonna be really, really nice. And it will kind of break down a little bit more too when we bake it in the oven. Cause they'll probably bake for about 15, 20 minutes. We'll check the, the packaging 
on the puff pastry just to see what the guidelines there are. Uh, but for now, this looks perfect. And like I said, I'm going to cool it down just a slightly and then we'll uh, assemble our toaster strudels. So we've got a nice floured surface. Now the box does say thaw three to four hours in the fridge. <laughs> We don't have that kind of time. I pulled it out and I stuck it in the microwave. <laughs> so if you're going to do that, be very careful. Okay. We don't want to lose those layers and we definitely don't want to melt the butter. We want to keep it chilled and cold. So 15 seconds in your microwave um, and then take it out, flip it over, and then you can do it again. And then um, you're going to take your rolling pin. With any kind of cold dough, you can do this. It'll help flatten it and then you can roll it out. Nice floured surface so nothing sticks and then just take your time. I have two boxes here. I don't honestly know. I'm gonna let you know how many I could get out of it when we're done. But for now, I'm gonna work with these two. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe we'll get like two out of, a, maybe a four out of a box. Puff pastry will um, rise. And it will shrink a little bit. I do kind of want to make it the same size as the toaster strudel. So I am going to measure the toaster strudels just to see, you know, how many we can get out of a half here. But I am going to go, you know, quite relatively thin here. Because like I said, I'm thinking we'll do kind of like a two layer kind of situation and sandwich them together. So all in all, I don't want it to be super thick once we're done. Because again, this is fresh puff pastry. It will puff. And when you take them out, of the oven, they'll be super um, puffed and risen. So just take your time rolling out each sheet. And once you think you've got it all rolled out, I'm thinking I kind of want to get four out of, or I guess I'll get two out of a half. Like I said, because I'm so smart. <laughs> just judging by the sizes is rolling out too, I think that's what we'll go with. So I'm just, it's nice that it's already a square because we want rectangles here. So um, it's really easy to roll that out. And these will kind of um, shrink a little bit, I guess, in the oven when they bake. Um, they'll puff up taller, but I think they're gonna shrink smaller. So I'd rather have them bigger before we put them in the oven. And I mean, quite frankly, those are really small. And if I'm going for a treat like this, I want it to be somewhat substantial. So I did grab my tape measure, but like this is looking pretty perfect. I might just eyeball her here. Actually, you know what? I will measure. Just down to see where we're at. 10. Let's go a little bit longer so we can get it to 11. And then we can go five and a half. All right, so there's our center point. this down the center and then down again okay I think these are gonna be a little bit bigger but like who doesn't want more toaster strudel Mike do you want a more like you want a bigger toaster strudel do you want a bigger toaster strudel bigger one? yeah like those are pretty small you think we should go bigger uh, yeah, I'm not bigger. yeah always better right Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I've got my baking sheet here. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour and I'm going to put on, let's see, my two bottoms. Oh, what am I doing? Let's do all four. But um, in the meantime, I do have my oven preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what the box told me. And it said that they'll bake for about 15, 20 minutes. So honestly, we're just looking for them to be super, um, golden brown and cooked all the way through. Now we have to remember your cream cheese, you can just eat as is, so that doesn't really need uh, to be cooked. So you don't have to worry about that and you don't have to worry about your jam because we already cooked that too. So you're mainly um, just focused on cooking the puff pastry itself and you don't have to worry about the filling not being cooked. And really you could do these savory too if you want, if you want to make like spinach puffs. <coughs> By spinach puffs. A very good job. Watch it. They're still hot. <clears throat> oh, yeah, spinach puffs. That's um, Emperor's New Brew. Hello. My spinach puffs. <laughs> All right, 
just fill in a pastry bag here. Not necessary, but it's going to make it a little bit easier in my work, a little bit cleaner. And you can just use a Ziploc bag if you don't have one of these. But remember, um, in my baking essentials video, I told you that these pastry bags are awesome to have for all kinds of needs. Because again, spinach puffs, you put your uh, filling in here and then you pipe it out. egg wash the top again it's going to promote browning and the little raw sugar we're going to sprinkle is going to help us uh, make it stick to the top of the strudel and if you don't have raw sugar you can always use turbinado sugar they're pretty much the same thing it's just kind of um, kind of how there's different um, you know there's chunky sea salt and there's fine sea salt same with sugar there's chunky uh, sugar and there's fine sugar like granulated sugar and if that's all you had, you can put some granulated sugar on top too. All right, now we're gonna pop these in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes until they're golden brown. Thank God, this camera was gonna die. <laughs> oh <laughs> God. <laughs>
kosher strudels or I guess strawberry strudels uh, came out of the oven. They were in there for 20 minutes and I've I went ahead and made some more of the um, store-bought kind. This is our beautiful homemade kind. And you can see I have two plates here. There's a gentleman who has never had a toaster strudel and he is 27 years old. So we have to change that and he needs to do a side-by-side -side comparison and we got to have uh, both of us taste test these delicious strudels. So, Michael? Yes. <laughs> Are you ready? No, no, no. I am ready. <laughs> to try your first toaster strudel? See, um, growing up, we always had Pop Tarts. Yes. So. Well, we had those too, but the fact that you never had one of these is. So, we're doing that one first and then. We'll do this one first and then we'll do. We'll cut into this top one here. You see all the flaked layers. All right. And now you can see that this is probably about half the size <laughs> of what we made, but that's all right. So, there you all go. Right. Cheers. Cheers. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not going to lie, when mm -hmm. you put enough high glycerides yeah. and, and mm -hmm. flavor, it's going to taste good. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. that but, our, so we're okay. It's, I mean, it is it is what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but now we're going to try this guy. Yeah. Okay. These are definitely flakier, you can tell already. And they are going to be probably pretty hot so be careful but like oh look at that the whole mm. real strawberries mm, the mm. cream cheese and like mm. look at the flaky layers <laughs> like look at that and the filling we did it just like the original so I did the cream Ooh. cheese in the middle with the strawberry on the side see this one it's kind of the same thing but look how much better yeah, that looks mm -hmm. all right ready all right yeah you going for it yeah it's pretty hot well Michael can't be hot <laughs> With two hands. Oh, hot. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, too hot. Oh, hot. That's pretty good. That's flaky. Yeah, that's I think the the whole difference. Mm. My if that was flakier, I think it'd be a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But the fact that this is real puff pastry, and I mean that the filling is real. Yeah. I, that's good. I don't know what's in there, but I want to bite in the middle. Uh huh. Mmm. And the orange in there with the cream Ooh. cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hot. Mm. But this end is not too. That's really, really sweet now. This is mm. just enough that if you put like whipped cream, uh, like a plate of yeah. dessert, or even a little bit of ice cream. Yes. Um, Nothing wrong with that, but this. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah that, that's all right. But like if you're going to put the effort in, go ahead and do mm. this one. So we are going to enjoy the rest of this. If you make this this weekend, please leave me a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new sweet treat. And uh, we're going to go ahead and enjoy these. But you guys have a wonderful day and make sure you smile lots. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. Mmm. Oh, good. Mmm. Is it good? Mmm. -hmm. You got it? Mmm. Okay. What is this? What did I get? Puff pastry.